All right, people, Hitman's Bodyguard is finally here. So if you are ready to hear a lot of MFers, let's get this review started. Welcome to the Kaiba Show. <laughs> so Hitman's Bodyguard is starring Ryan Reynolds, Samuel Jackson, and Gary Oldman is directed by Patrick Hughes. And basically the premise of the movie is... We have a bodyguard that's played by Ryan Reynolds that takes on a new client that's a hitman played by Sam Jackson. And they have to put their differences to the side so that he keeps Sam Jackson's character alive long enough to deliver him to the international courts to testify against an evil guy. So what worked for the movie? Basically, the movie had really good action sequences where there was like really good gunplay and hand-in-hand -hand combat in the movie. And I love the cinematography that they did with the action scenes in the movie so I think people will enjoy that and I love the buddy buddy duel between Sam Jackson and Ryan Reynolds I feel like they will be awesome together in future movies maybe not a sequel to this one but if they teamed up and did other movies together I kind of like their chemistry on screen so what didn't work for the movie let me start off by saying this I didn't like the cheesy CGI special effects that they had in the movie you could tell in certain scenes in the background that the special effects just look like you was watching a sci-fi movie. It looked like the movie had like a low budget with some of the special effects in the background. I didn't like Salma Hayek's character in the movie. I felt like she was over the top extra in the movie. And I also didn't like the story as much as I would have thought I would have liked. I just felt like the writers got a little lazy and gave us 50% instead of giving us 100% so we could really see the full potential of the characters in the movie. So I just felt like it was lacking in that area. And I also felt like we didn't get the Ryan Reynolds in the movie that we're used to seeing with his sarcastic one-liners. I felt like he was not hitting at all in the movie with a lot of the scenes. His jokes just didn't land for me. So overall, people, I felt like the movie was entertaining. So if you're looking for a popcorn flick, Hitman's Bodyguard will be a good option for you if you have nothing else better to do. So I definitely wouldn't recommend seeing that regular admission. It's probably more worth seeing if you have a $5 Tuesday in your local movie theater. It's probably worth seeing it then. So on a Kyla scale of 1 to 10, unfortunately I'm going to have to give this movie a 6.5. Like I said, it's entertaining, but it's not enough to make me want to go out and see this movie again. And I think I'll probably skip it on Blu-ray. So just wait for it to come out on TV. So if you like what you see and you want to see more, please hit the subscribe button. After hitting the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a video. And leave a comment at the bottom and hit the like button.